Well, I've shot both these rifles and really enjoyed myself with them. And in the beginning of the video, you see it's kind of a comparison of the two um, well, what survival rifles, you can call it. But I really think these two rifles are two basically distinctly different rifles. Um, I think the U.S. Uh, survival rifle by Henry is designed as a survival rifle and is supposed to be used in that purpose. The um, Ruger, on the other hand, can be used in multiple purposes, hunter, daily plinker, uh, just a very strong um, the uh, 1022 platform. Uh, so it can be used as a lot of things, but since it breaks down, it can also be uh, put in the uh, uh, category of a survival rifle, pack rifle, uh, something that you could conceal. That's not to say the Henry, I think the Henry is a bad rifle. It's, it's not. It's a great rifle for, for what it is. Um, which I, I, I believe makes a, a comparison of the two kind of unfair. Um, being a survival rifle, uh, it can be used in other modes. I mean, you can use it as a plinker, as a hunter. But uh, I basically, I think, uh, or uh, Henry, that is, made it as a survival rifle, and that's, that's his intended use. Uh, the Ruger, on the other hand, like I said, is a strong, balanced um, uh, rifle that can be used in many, uh, many situations. Um, very nice to shoot both of them, I think. Um, I found that the Henry uh, shot very accurately. It ate most ammunition, or all ammunition I gave to it. Uh, both of them had one stovepipe, but that was after both rifles were pretty dirty. Um, but both of them ate all the uh, bulk uh, cheap ammo that I put through it. Um, I found that the Henry rifle, um, being lighter, it's three and a half pounds compared to the four and a half pound Ruger. Uh, had a little more muzzle flip on it, not much, but it caused me to uh, come back on target for follow-up shops maybe a half second slower than the Ruger, um, and I, it might be less than that, but I noticed it. Uh, the Henry, I mean, it is one cool rifle. I mean, how many rifles make movies like James Bond movies, and this rifle did make that movie. Um, it is, uh, carries within it, you know, in its stock, all its pieces and parts, receiver, barrel, and ammunition, if you get the extra, because it comes with two magazines. If you get the third one, you have 24 rounds always with you in this stock. Um, so I think Henry really hit a home run with the survival rifle. Um, one thing I did kind of have a problem with is this Picatinny rail on top, if you call it that. Um, I really think that goes outside its design, and putting a scope on there is going to negate the ability to, um, you know, break the rifle down and put it within the stock. So, I really, I don't know, they probably were listening to the customer's input on that, but I think it was a mistake. Um, putting a scope on here isn't really necessary. It's a very accurate gun without it. Um, the Ruger, on the other hand, um, you know, it's made for a little heavier. I think it has a little less muzzle flip. Um, it's designed for so many different things that putting an optic on it's just fine, I think. Um, if push came to shove for me, which one would I take? Um, if I could only buy one rifle, it would certainly be the Ruger. Uh, just because it has so many more capabilities. A little stronger platform, I think. Um, if um, I knew that I was going out in a bug out situation, God forbid, um, you know, I would take the Ruger. And that would be... Um, under the uh, knowing that I would need to go out in, uh, in that situation or if I was going on a oh a camp trip and I was going to be base camping somewhere and I wanted a, a good camp rifle this is one I'd take uh, mostly because of its capabilities of larger magazines and oh just a little bit uh, more robust design I think um, again I think the Henry's designed fine for uh, what it is but um, I can't see shooting 10,000 rounds through that gun. Um, if you ever look at the internals, they're rather delicate. More than enough to do the job it's been intended to do, but uh, the Ruger, definitely, you know, 10,000 rounds out of it and a good caretaking. Uh, you probably could barely tell if there's anything wrong. Or it's had that kind of use. Uh, but that's taking it with me if I know that I need it. Now, on the other hand, uh, keeping this the way I do in its bag, uh, along with uh, probably most of the time the Walther P22 
and a few other assortments of things. There's a lot more money sitting in the trunk of my car. If I leave it like that, uh, should that car be stolen or uh, broken into, I'm going to lose a lot of cash out of that situation. On the other hand, this, uh, which I picked up used for a very good deal, I might add, um, less than $200. So, I mean, that's not going to hurt quite as badly. I won't like it if it's stolen, not one bit, but at the same time, I'm much more likely to keep the Henry in my car. So, you know, it's going to be kept in a, in a, in its container, which is the stock, but also I've rigged up this little box here. Um, cut out some foam for it and uh, it fits right in there and in the back it goes and it's just in this little briefcase which I probably should change that uh, camo paint to back to black or pink with polka dots I don't know make it not look very um, gun like so and with that it'd be um, a lot less noticeable but anyway I wouldn't do the polka dot thing um, both of these guns if I had to only buy one again, I'd probably go with the Ruger. Uh, fortunately, I was able to get both and uh, really enjoy both of them. Um, this one's just fun to look at. So everybody I've shown this to just loves it. And they try to get it from me. <laughs> they lust after it. It's such a cool gun. Um, again, you can't go wrong with the 1022 either, especially in this takedown mode. Both very neat and uh, enjoy them very much. Thanks for watching.